Hi everyone, welcome to today's Current Affairs Daily Notes. Today's topic is Chandrayaan 2. I'm Nitrisha from GK Today and let us begin. So the topics under this that we'll discuss are what is the Chandrayaan 2 mission? Why is it in the news? What are the objectives of this mission? What is GSLV MK3? Why the South Polar Region of the Moon? What are the challenges faced? And some possible questions. So what is the Chandrayaan 2 mission all about? It is India's second mission to the moon and it aims to explore the moon's south polar region. It will be launched on board India's most powerful launcher, GSLV MK3. The mission is an important step in India's plans for planetary exploration, which is a program known as Planetary Science and Exploration or PlanX. There are three components on the mission, an orbiter, a lander and a rover. Now the mission payload includes terrain mapping camera, which will generate a digital elevation model of the entire moon. Chandrayaan 2 Large Area Soft X-ray Spectrometer, which will test the elemental composition of the moon's surface. And Solar X-ray Monitor, which will provide solar X-ray spectrum inputs for class. The orbiter will be deployed in an altitude of 100 km above the surface of the moon. The lander will then separate from the orbiter and execute a soft landing on the surface of the moon. Unlike the previous mission, which crash landed near the lunar pole. The lander, rover, and orbiter will perform mineralogical and elemental studies of the lunar surface. The rover is named Pragyan. The mission's lander is named Vikram after Dr. Vikram Esarabhai, the father of Indian space program. If ISRO achieves the feat in its first attempt, it will make India only the fourth country to soft land on the lunar surface. The erstwhile Soviet Union, the US and China are the only countries to have achieved lunar landings. Why is it in the news? The Chandrayaan 2 launch has been cancelled due to a technical snag. It was supposed to be launched on 14th July. New dates will be announced in a few days. In September 2008, the Chandrayaan 2 mission was approved by the government for a cost of Rs 425 crore. This was right before the launch of Chandrayaan 1, which was the first Indian lunar probe. It was launched by the Indian Space Research Organization in October 2008 and operated until August 2009. The mission included a lunar orbiter and an impactor. What are the objectives of Chandrayaan-2? The primary objective of Chandrayaan-2 is to demonstrate the ability to soft land on the lunar surface and operate a robotic rover on the surface. Scientific goals include studies of lunar topography, mineralogy, elemental abundance, the lunar exosphere, and signatures of hydroxyl and water ice. What is GSLV MK3? Developed by ISRO, the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle Mark III is a stage, three-stage vehicle, primarily designed to launch communication satellites into geostationary orbits. It has a mass of 640 tons that can accommodate up to 8,000 kg payload to LEO and 4000 kg payload to GTO. Now GSLP Mark III vehicle is powered by two solid motor strap-ons known as S200, a liquid propellant core stage known as L110 and a cryogenic stage known as C25 that has been designed for carrying the four-tone class satellite. The C25 is powered by CE20, India's largest cryogenic engine designed and developed by the Liquid Propulsion System Center. Why are we interested in the South Polar region of the Moon? According to ISRO, the lunar South Pole is an interesting surface area which remains in shadows as compared to the North Pole. There is a possibility of the presence of water and permanently shadowed areas around it. The agency said adding craters in the South Pole region have coal traps and contain fossil records of the early solar system. What are the challenges faced? Now, challenges involved in the moon landing are identifying trajectory accurately, taking up deep space communication, translunar injection, orbiting around the moon, taking up soft landing on the moon's surface, and facing extreme temperatures and vacuum. Now, let us move on to possible questions. When was Chandrayaan-1 launched? Correct answer is 22nd October 2008. When was Chandrayaan-2 supposed to be launched? Correct answer is 14 July 2019. That's all for this video. If you want to read more about Chandrayaan 2, 
simply follow our link in the description below. And if you liked our efforts, please do like, share and subscribe. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.